happen. So some of the qualities of uh, highly effective leadership are very evident in what Michael has done here in Sheridan. Uh, and those, of course, include identifying needs, uh, depth of insight into what quality education is all about, what the critical factors are that add up to effective teaching and effective learning. He's very knowledgeable in those areas. He utilizes resources of all kinds to full advantage, technology, human resources on staff in the community, and builds a coalition uh, around a central set of goals that uh, lead to the accomplishments of uh, all of the kids. What I think most of when I think about Michael and his, is his tenacity. And I know around instruction, he's very, very cued into kids and their, their growth. He has a vision and he, and he just constantly pushes towards that. And I, what I really appreciate about him is that even when, when there's a bump in the road or things kind of go downhill, it would be very easy to go, you know what, this is hard, this is too much. He gets right back up on the horse and figures it out and doesn't let those, those negative things that happen stop him. He has tremendous insight into the needs of public schools and he has such an extensive background of experience and knowledge that he can provide and has provided quality leadership that any school district can benefit from. One of the things that strikes me about Michael when I first came, he told me not to be afraid to think outside the box. And I love that because most people are always wanting to do things by the book. And, and he just said, don't be afraid of things outside the box. I said, don't worry, that's not going to be a problem. So. Um, we talked about, you know, that I told him I didn't like to be micromanaged, and if he's a micromanager, then don't hire me. Um, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll make it happen. And if there's, I'm doing things that you don't like, then let me know. And if I'm doing things that you like, let me know. So he's very, um, I feel like, very easy to talk to. And up front, I can call him and let him know what's happening and get advice, and he's open to give it. And it's been, um, it's a lot of work, but it's been a a good ride and I really start to see the benefits of what's happening in Sheridan. Um, I think it's just very apparent as you work with Michael that he has a clear sense of direction. He knows what a quality school district ought to look like. He knows what the components are and he's able to get other people, select, select other people to begin with that have the same kinds of commitment and interest and dedication that he has. And then he's able to bring those people together on uh, driving toward common goals. But it's his own enthusiasm and his own uh, kindness and his own willingness and desire to recognize the contributions of others that have resulted in a total effort that drives everything that goes on toward quality education. It's that immediacy that we can't wait a week to change what we're doing for kids. We can't wait a year for us to get better at our jobs. It has to be now, it has to be today, and it has to be every day from this day forward. Um, there's, no, there's no waiting to get things done. It's got to be done immediately. It's a constancy of interest on his part, a constancy of effort, and I think just a dominating um, mindset toward doing all kinds of things that need to be done to uh, make education meaningful and helpful to all of the kids. His focus has always been on student achievement and the academics, whereas I've worked for superintendents who their focus was more on building a business or um, just maintaining policy, but Michael's focus has definitely been streamlined about student achievement and raising the academic performance of our kids and just really realizing that um, that's of utmost importance and it needs to be the priority of everybody in the district. He has a good way of providing just enough positive reinforcement with just enough push to keep you moving forward to kind of make you mad a little bit, <laughs> to be honest with you, that you keep, you know, you keep moving. And I think that, that a leader can can kind of just let you go and never give you any feedback. But the places where I've grown usually have come after he's been um, straightforward enough with me to say, yeah, these are the things you need to work on. One of the strengths that I really see in Michael is, is that when he does see something that 
is not going well, he responds very quickly and he has the courage to make those decisions that may or may not be popular to people. And I do know that some of the decisions that he made in 2008 uh, were difficult for people to understand. But in 2013, um, after doing a, a survey with the staff, it's really clear that uh, the majority of the staff at this point believe that we're in, headed in the right direction. We are doing the right things for kids. That We do value our teachers and our leaders, um, and we're going to support them to be able to do what they need to for kids. This is unified and um, positive. It's, it's a positive culture. And that, that's, that was never really something that was a part of anything I'd ever experienced and shared in positive groups. But in terms of we're working towards a, a, a goal, an end goal, never have had that kind of vision.